Welcome to the show, everybody. It's the Crypto Lark. Today we're going to be talking about Trinity Network, a second layer protocol built on top of NEO for NEO in order to deliver privacy, high transactions per second, and of course, low fees. We're going to be getting into all the details of that after a quick shout out to everyone who has been hitting that like button. And of course, everybody who has been subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that button down below to stay up to date with all of the latest in the crypto space. Furthermore, this is, of course, not professional financial advice. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the Internet. Let's get into it, guys. Now, we are, of course, talking about Trinity today because it won the Community Coin Review of the Week, beating out Mobius and Pundiex in Bitclave without even the tiniest bit of real competition. So well done to the Trinity community for activating. Now, Trinity has attracted a lot of attention because it is bringing off-chain scaling to the NEO blockchain. Now look, we've seen a lot of interest in Raiden, that is the scaling off-chain scaling solution for Ethereum. We've seen obviously a big interest in the Lightning Network, which is of course the off-chain scaling solution for Bitcoin. And of course, a lot of people, uh, projects like uh, for example, Litecoin have actually implemented the Lightning Network already. So I'm not surprised to see this coming to Neo. Now, if you're wondering what off-chain scaling is, let me give it to you like this. Imagine you go out to the bar and you're on a bar tab. Now you go up all night and you get another drink. Say, yeah, put that one on my tab. Yeah, put that one on my tab. Instead of every time you go up, swiping your card or getting some cash out, dealing with some coins and all that stuff, you just pay one time at the end of the night. That's kind of what off-chain scaling is like. A whole bunch of transactions are actually done off-chain, and the result of those transactions is put on the chain. So they're still recorded, just not all done on-chain. Now, how are they going to achieve this? They're going to do this using state channels, so there'll be smart contracts. They'll be used to lock and unlock deposits. Those smart contracts will also be used to carry out any arbitration, so there'll be disputes and they need resolving, of course. There will be a proof of assets. Basically, uh, you'll have collateral that you'll have to put up, and then it will be um, transacted after that. Now, it's not only focusing on that, though, which is the interesting thing about Trinity. It's not just a scaling solution. It does more than that, too. So basically, if we look at the token, for example, it can be used as a settlement. So it can be used to pay. It can be used as a network participation reward. And also for custom enterprise solutions. So Trinity Network can offer those kind of custom payment solutions for enterprises. And of course, that will have to be paid in Trinity tokens. Essentially, this is a utility token which allows for the transfer of NEO assets from A to B. But in that, it's also a value token in of itself. It has privacy using zero knowledge proofs and coin join, which is pretty powerful stuff, to be honest. To see that they are bringing out those privacy features definitely makes Trinity an even more interesting project. And of course, micropayments will be a possibility here with Trinity as well. Now, let's have a look at the team here. So the team, really it comes down to David Yiling Lee. He is formerly of Ant Shares. So he was their overseas manager. So obviously he's got those connections to the NEO team. Very interesting to see a lot of these former NEO people actually branching out and making their own projects, sometimes on NEO, not always, but sometimes on NEO. Of course, this is a NEO project, but that's very cool to see. And the rest of the team has got some pretty good experience. It is a small team at the moment, though. That may be one thing to, to really point out. It would be, of course, good to see them bringing on some more people, especially if they want to start getting into uh, enterprise payment solutions, for example. 
but I'm sure that will come should they encounter the demand. Having a look at the roadmap. This is great. A big secret revealed here. Cool. <laughs> a big secret revealed here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so mysterious. A big secret revealed here. Ooh, what's going to be going on over here at Trinity? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're being silly now, but that uh, obviously they have a lot of things in store for us. Some of those are probably partnerships that they're simply not allowed to announce yet because of non-disclosure agreements and things like that. I would suspect, but who the heck knows. Now, the public testing on the Neo mainnet's not coming until April. We'll have a user app launched the end of May. Looking forward, though, you actually see that there are a lot of different ideas coming in here as well, like a crypto trading engine. That's quarter four, 2018. We don't have a lot of details about that, except that that is something they're planning on doing in the future. And industry solution for Internet of Things. Now look, again, they, they don't really mention much about this at all in their white paper, but that is uh, certainly interesting, certainly has a lot of potential. Remember, this is a settlement uh, network as well as, you know, being that utility token to move NEO assets around, but you can actually use it as a settlement of itself. And of course, those custom enterprise solutions, again, really letting companies make those payments potentially really a good fit here for the IOT. But, you know, we shall see. Now, obviously, everybody wants to simply say, Lark, is it better than Raiden? Well, they do a lot of the same stuff, obviously, for different blockchains. The one thing I can certainly say is that the guys over at Raiden are pretty gosh darn busy. Now, this is the Raiden GitHub. You guys can just, you know, take a look there, understand all the stuff that's there. And this is the Trinity GitHub right there. Wallet, white paper, Trinity protocol, state channels, kind of just started a few days ago. So not much going on over on their GitHub. Obviously, it is a fairly new project. Really, we need to see them stepping up the game, putting some more info here in the GitHub for people, and actually delivering on what they say they're going to deliver on. Now, another thought of mine, you might think, well, is Trinity even really needed? And that's an interesting question, because right now we have on average about uh, the capacity for 1,000 transactions per second on NEO, 10,000 transactions per second, theoretical. Da Hong Fei just came out the NEO DevCon and said, we're going to get 100,000 transactions per second on chain without sharding without trinity by 2020 that's ambitious but it makes you think wait a second hundred thousand transactions that's that's a lot of transactions now maybe that might not be enough for a future where blockchain is everything and we have hundreds of millions to billions of iot enabled devices communicating with each other let's just say just in China. There's no way Neo would be able to handle that. So yeah, it would need a scaling solution without a doubt in that situation as robust as Neo is building itself to be, we still might face a future where these kind of scaling solutions are absolutely essential. So we shall see. We shall see. Now, it's also important to point out that while this is obviously uh, supported by NEO and they have a lot of, you know, close contact with NEO, you know, this is not being developed by City of Zion. You had a look at the team with me, so, you know, that's something to keep in mind. And it isn't an NEP5 token, so you can store this in your Neon wallet, of course. Now, having a look here at the market cap, obviously the whole market's been down at the time of recording this video. But nevertheless, it is trading for 23 cents a share at the moment. 333 million, 333,333 333 Trinity in circulation. Wait a second. Three plus three, ignoring the third three, makes six, makes six, makes six. Wait a second, this triangle... Is that the symbol of the Illuminati? It's the devil! It's the devil! Okay. <laughs> okay, seriously, though, guys. 
Obviously, we can see that there is a lot of Trinity still to come into circulation. Only a third of it has been issued out so far. So that's something you keep in mind if you're uh, looking to get invested. Now, taking a look at market caps, for example, Raiden, although it has done very well from the time of its ICO, kind of chilling right now around $140 million again, down market times, but a little more in value than Trinity. I'm not surprised by that. Obviously, Ethereum does get a lot more business than Neo blockchain at the moment. So I'm not surprised to see their scaling solution being a little bit higher in value. So we should see how that moves forward in terms of uh, market caps for both of these. But obviously, if they do get high utilization with those blockchains, they do have a lot of room to grow. But as with Trinity, for example, it has already grown a lot since its ICO. Still some definite forward potential here, but, you know, I think it really needs to be useful first. Off-chain scaling is great, but NEO hasn't really had those problems yet. There's been a couple bottlenecks, but certainly nothing like Ethereum has been having, right? And in fact, NEO was much more robust to begin with, whereas Ethereum, for example, is doing 13 to 15 transactions per second, where NEO is already easily clocking in you know, much, much higher than that. So is Trinity a bit before its time? Maybe. But I think with the connections they have and with the intention they have, hopefully they can fill their GitHub up and actually make this a useful add-on to NEO. Now, if you do want to go and pick yourselves up some Trinity, you can always grab it over on KuCoin. Cuckoo! Let me know what you guys think about Trinity Network Credits down in the comment section below. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.